I am an advocate, I am a tribal leader, I am a sister, and I am hope. I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I am an enrolled member of the Hopi tribe of Arizona with Jemez Pueblo and Navajo Nation heritage as well. Um, I work in the House Majority Leadership Office um, as the Majority Leadership Analyst. So I work alongside and with the Majority Whip and the Majority Floor Leader. Um, and I really serve as a child and family welfare specialist. Outside of my legislative role, I sit as the Vice President of the Board of Directors at CASA First. I transitioned over from the board as a youth specialist and, and staffing my own caseload of young people and providing mentorship and resources, um, as well as doing a lot of training for CASA. Being a mentor to young people in the foster care um, is actually my favorite part of, of anything. Where my heart lies is definitely that one-on-one -on -one relationship building and mentorship. Um, with teenagers going through the system. And I grew up in the system that I now am working change. And so I think for me, that just makes it really personal. I, I love working with um, children and youth. And when I hear them, when I listen to them, to hear like what, what they're dreaming, what they're thinking. Um, and so I always take kind of what I hear from them into these spaces when, when I'm you know, traveling or talking to our lawmakers. Okay. On top of that, I sit as a policy lead on um, the National Child Welfare and Racial Equity Collaborative, um, working on the policy around strengthening and protecting tribal families. I also right now sit as the co-chair of the training committee um, for the New Mexico Partners, which is um, a advisory board for the Indian Child Welfare Court um, that we opened here in New Mexico. I kind of became a specialist in the Indian Child Welfare Act um, and specifically on how that impacts communities but also um, the greater picture of, of tribal sovereignty. So a lot of my advocacy and, and policy work has been around um, making sure that tribes have the capacity to holistically care for their children and families. Um, in these spaces that I'm in, I'm often the sole tribal representation in, in the room. Um, so that's a really huge piece for me to make sure that I'm always uplifting my community and I'm always educating people on um, the importance of keeping tribal children in tribal communities. I got involved with this because when I was adopted and put into a culture that wasn't mine, and I really distanced myself from my identity and I got put into essentially an all white private school um, where my identity very much became something I was actually a little bit ashamed of. I'm happy to say now that I'm connected back to everyone um, from, you know, biological mother to siblings to grandparents and aunts and uncles and cousins. It's, it's been really awesome to be able to bridge these worlds now because to represent my community in spaces they wouldn't be represented is um, yeah the biggest accomplishment I could ask for. I think hope is a really powerful word in my world. Um, because I really do think that that's how I got here. We're always taught that hope comes from the little ones, right? The next, the next generation. And we've been taught to not just think of the next one, but seven generations down the line. I, I really appreciate the, the saying um, that I've learned from some of my mentors of, right, I'm the answer to my ancestors' prayers and I'm the hope for my descendants.